Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Josh Podiatry. Tis the season today. Corns, it's raining corns, lots of corns, IPKs, intractable porokeratoses, corn, seeded corns, all mean the same thing. Um, this is a very pleasant patient who I haven't seen in a long time. No news is good news. Um, who has presented once again to see us <clears throat> with a recurrence of an IPK, a true intractable porokeratosis, a seeded corn, a true seeded corn. You know, the when we look at, this is no pun, when we look at the core of the problem, uh, this patient has an autoimmune condition. Um, and patients with autoimmune conditions, specifically in the feet, depending on the, uh, medications that they're that they're on or have been on just like in you know patients that are undergoing chemotherapy we have spoken about in the past the the, the loss of fat in this particular case the foot and when there's loss of fat in the foot it usually disappears in the ball of the foot so Skin, fat, bone. What happens is if you take out the fat, what's left is skin and bone. So in this patient's particular case, she has underneath the fourth metatarsal head a really, really painful corn that is and has been affecting her daily life activities. The good news is that she's been doing a wonderful job keeping it just sort of like there, which is fantastic. We spoke in great length about the different uh, treatments, alternatives. So let's go, let's look at our whiteboard here quickly. So the first thing that I recommended, you know, recommendation number one is uh, a minimally invasive procedure just like we presented the other day, this patient uh, that we're gonna be performing next week. Basically same thing, we have the lesion here, right? This is the, the painful por uh, porokeratosis. Basically do is a tiny little incision, okay? And we shave this off a little bit here with it's called we saucerize it using our little burr. And then this, which is the symptom, goes away. Very simple procedure, and then this becomes that, right? So it's a structural problem. We shave a little bit of that bone underneath of the of the head of the first uh, of the fourth metatarsal. This is the problem. The structure goes away. This goes away, which is a symptom. The second uh, treatment that we recommended is the Brazilian foot lift. And we spoke, uh, we spoke about that in great length. <clears throat> fat grafting procedure, we move a little bit of fat from here to the foot. We are essentially replenishing the fat that, is, uh, that has been lost. Um, double board certified plastic surgeon, part of our team, uh, does a little mini lipo aspiration. It is not liposuction. And we take that fat, which contains also stem cells, and we move it into the foot to replenish that pillow that has been, that's gone. It's been it's basically melted away. And that works really, really well. She's basically the perfect candidate for a lot of reasons, because I think that with time, the little, 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 little amount of fat that she has <clears throat> will continue to disappear. Number two, her foot structure, she's got a high arch foot. So basically all the weight is on the front and on the back. But I'd like to show you guys, we're gonna definitely, you know, uh, nucleate, right? Extract that corn underneath the fourth metatarsal head of the right foot. Let's get a really nice close up there. So there it is. This is not really bothering her. This is not really bothering her. But what we're gonna do here is we're going to, it may not seem like such a big corn. Corns 
the the historically speaking the where we see them the, the real painful ones are the ones that are really compact and they the deeper right the deeper they they are or go that's where the the real pain comes in right and I apologize in advance like always and here we go uh, essentially just to give everyone an idea there we see the core and we have to be very very careful because as we already know this patient has very little subcutaneous tissue right here and and I wish I mean you guys you see all of these metatarsal heads I feel them there there's nothing left there's no fat so what I like to do is when we're getting really patient if you feel any discomfort please let me know and we just slowly just start to carve and carve and carve very carefully on the top here and now we start to to get deeper it may feel a little uncomfortable but kind of like that you start removing and we continue to move and remove all this all this hyperkeratotic tissue and I can actually palpate and feel how much more wiggle room I have and we still have a little bit of more wiggle room to go We'll get close up there just to show everyone yeah how does that feel I think it, um, it feels better should feel significantly better let's take a little bit more from here the problem with these lesions is that when patients come in to have to have this performed even when you remove it, it's still it's still sore because it's been sore for many you know for a very long time, a long period of time. Um, and like I've said it before, sometimes you have to stage them. Sometimes you can't get to everything at first. It, right. It has to literally work its way out. First. Yes, um, that's a great question. But at the same time, we, we need to be very careful because we don't want to, we don't want to hurt you. Yeah. So we have to find that happy place. How does that feel? It's a little sore, a little tender. And it's tender because it's been tender as well. Yes. So sometimes we'd like to wait a couple of days to see if that soreness, little tenderness goes away. And it, and and then if it doesn't, then we can actually There's more and let's try over here a little bit here. And the lighting's a little bit off there. Let's get a little bit deeper. How are you doing up there? Fine. Uh, the reason I don't feel too much is because when they were testing me for the mixed connective, they told me that there was a peripheral neuropathy where I wasn't feeling 
you know, he struck me literally with that. Yeah, so the patient has uh, an element of uh, peripheral neuropathy. That's more of a reason to be more careful. Almost gonna stop here. It's just a little bit here. here a little bit better I think so I think it's okay in the way and then she's got another one here but this one really and here but I'm not really concerned about that so we enucleated the lesion we'll see how this goes we spoke about two really effective long-term treatments, the Brazilian foot lift, the fat grafting procedure, and also the minimally invasive saucerization of, uh, of the bone, of the metatarsal, that will definitely help tremendously. Um, the only reason, why, and we also spoke about the custom molded accommodative orthotics, but... The structure. Right, and, and, also, and also the, the dermal fillers, the sculpture which is basically very similar to the fat grafting. The only difference is fat grafting is permanent and the dermal fillers that people use for the face and cosmesis um, to fill lines uh, is, is temporary. And, and these are expensive uh, injections. So, you know, that's, that's another alternative. Some people like to do that first to see how it feels and to see how it goes. And if that works, then they make the investment into the, into the long-term solution. And that's another option, without a, you know, without a doubt. Um, but it's it's very important that for all of the viewers that will see this video, it's really important uh, to do your homework before you do any of these procedures. Extremely important. Do your own due diligence. Not all surgeons are created equal. Very very important. Okay. So like always very very good case um quintessential case uh patients that suffer that are suffering from metatarsalgia inflammation of the you know the entire ball of the foot whether you know because of a b c or d in this particular case an underlying medical issue a legitimate medical issue um if anyone has any questions like always please you know where to find me www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. It's always a pleasure continuing to educate the world one toe at a time. Have a nice day. <laughs>